Well, I've always wanted to be a model ever since I was two. I used to photo bomb at preschool and I was, everyone knew me for photo bombing and I've just pursued it ever since I was young. Modeling has helped me to learn to be comfortable with my body and love it and not get caught up obsessing over particular parts of it because I suppose as a model you have to, it's in the photographer's hands or the client's hands, the photos, so you don't have control over them and you just learn to accept them and I guess like them and love them and in turn love yourself. I haven't always had a positive body image. When I was younger, it started when I was about six or seven, I used to, I started thinking I was fat, I started thinking I was too big and I used to wear baggy clothes to school and hide behind them and I used to be really jealous of the other girls and I really, really didn't accept my body when I was younger. I'm not sure what made me overcome it. I suppose modelling definitely helped me overcome not being happy with my body, but I don't know. I sort of, I guess it's something I learnt growing up as a teenager. You sort of don't want to let it get to you because it holds you back in other aspects in life, so you sort of have to learn to overcome it and be happy with your body. It took a long time though, and I can understand why so many women struggle with it. The favourite part of my body would be my tummy, I guess, and my boobs. I love my boobs. <laughs> I suppose sometimes, although I'm really comfortable with my body, I still sometimes get caught up in it. I think it's natural and I think a lot of women do, no matter how comfortable they are, sometimes get caught up in certain parts of their body. And sometimes I get, I suppose, about my bum and my thighs. I feel like, oh, they're too big or if they're a bit smaller and then I sort of have to make myself snap out of it and tell myself, stop it, you're being an idiot. But yeah, I think overall I'm really, really comfortable now. I've cut off my hair in 2012 I guess it was, it was a rebellion, but it was also saying, you know, f you to society and f you to the standards and the way women are supposed to look and have to feel like they have to look. Like I always felt like I had to grow my hair out long and it was never long enough and just shaving it off and saying, hey, you don't need hair to be a female and be feminine and feel sexy. And it was the most liberating thing I've ever done. Well, when I was a teenager, I thought, you know, I was a young teenager, I thought I was too too curvy to, I guess, it for the bedroom. But when I started becoming <laughs> sexually active, I loved it. I love, I love the curves. I love jiggling them. I love owning them. And I think, no, it doesn't affect, I don't think how, it's the confidence that matters in the bedroom. It's not how your body looks or how big it is or how small it is. It's the confidence you have that matters. If people close to you, what's one word they might use to describe you? Um, kind-hearted. They always think I'm like really nice and probably too kind sometimes. It's not always a great thing. <laughs> yeah, at the moment I think there's a lot of pressure on young girls to look a certain way and to be a certain size and to behave in a particular way and I think the best thing that you can be is be yourself and it took me years and years to learn that and I don't want girls to have to go through that same length of time to find out who they are. I want them to just be able to find it out early on so that they can focus on other things in life that are more important than how they look. To be healthy, well, I think it all starts here. And you need to feed your body properly, you need to think positive thoughts, you need to stop beating yourself up and beating your, beating your body up, nutrition-wise and the way, what you say to it on a daily basis and what you say when you look in the mirror. I think it all starts in here and yeah, how you feed it, I suppose, with words and food.